start it. <laughs> this is Chanel with Love My Pups, and today we have some news about Suki and Mando. We have a, a due date of tomorrow, but yesterday we started getting signs on um, some arrival of babies. And so what were those signs? The signs were that she started nesting, but not really nesting just a little bit. She didn't want to eat her food. She didn't finish the food that, from the night before. And so I just took her temperature. Now her temperature the night before was 100.4. And when I check her temperature after I caught her nesting, it was 98.9, .9, which kind of made me think, okay, it's kind of go time. So I called our vet and let them know and so he could be prepared for a phone call at any time. Our vet likes to have progesterone numbers, all of the signs possible so that everyone is fully prepared. And so we've been keeping him posted every step of the way and it's been wonderful. Um, and, and, so, uh, and we did a progesterone test yesterday too, mm -hmm. which was what? It was five point, was it 5.94? Yes, and we want it less than or we at? We want it less than or at three. That's right. So uh, yesterday we did the progesterone test and just kept an eye on her. She didn't nest anymore after that and she did want to eat some food. She, her behavior otherwise was fairly normal. So while you're carrying on with this, why don't you grab her so we can have her up on the table here. So she's just had a progesterone test again. So this is uh, Suki and Suki's just kind of been resting pretty much. I'm gonna grab Suki out. Yeah. So she's in, the, she's in this little thing here because she's in our house. We don't want her wandering around. This is her car ride collar. Yep, good. <laughs> and she is nice and fat. Mm -hmm. She swallowed a big soccer ball. Yes, so tell her about her DNA, you know? What's her she DNA? She is a blue and tan. She carries cocoa and a copy of Pied. She is in... And cream? Uh-huh. Yep. Well, I don't know. Okay, is we'll, she? We'll, find we'll, out. we'll find out. <laughs> Um, and so I'm whelping Suki for my Frenchies of Texas, which is my brother's, my brother's Frenchie business, Cody. And so anyways, today, uh, so last night, kind of knowing what her progesterone numbers were, I kind of set an alarm. She's shaking because she's high up on the table right now. So that's a good point here. So Tam uh, Chanel has a towel on here. Why she got that to give the dog traction. Mm -hmm. We don't want dogs to be scared. And they naturally- Especially th like this, because they'll just yes. strain and- We don't want to stress her out at all. Right? Yeah. So. And she's very laid back as it is. So um, so anyways, with the progesterone number and her lower of temperature yesterday, I just expected to keep an eye on her, keep her close to me. And last night, put a baby monitor in there with her and just woke up to check on her every few hours. And So you didn't get any sleep last night, did you? Not really. But you look good for having no sleep. Thanks, makeup <laughs> is magic. It is, isn't it? <laughs> So um, this morning about 7.30 was whenever she woke up, she wanted to eat again. And so I gave her what she wanted and then she tried to bury the rest of it. That was a new, a new uh, sign. New behavior, mm -hmm. gotcha, right. And about 10 minutes later, she threw it all up. There so then I decided to check her temperature again and it was 97.4. Low. 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 So I called my vet, gave him the update, and then I came over here to do a progesterone test and her progesterone test score was 3.08. Yes. So, I called so I'm just, him. So I'm just gonna pan around here. So here's the machine. And where is her number? This is Suki there, Suki right there. So there we go right there. Suki is a 3.08, there it is. So we're testing our dog too. All right, so very good. So then what do you do? So then I called my vet and he had the right questions. He said, okay, so I have her, you know, project her progesterone score. I have her, um, you know, her behavior down. Let's go ahead and work her in today at five o'clock. If something else happens, like more nesting or discharge or anything like that, let's get her here right away. So we've got a nice, she's been slowly coming down to this point too. So we're not gonna rush her in right away with her 3.0. I, I, I really like Doc. This is Dr. Masumic. 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 Say it for me. Matusik. James Ma Matusik. James Matusik, north of... Uh, of He's uh, in Kingfisher. Kingfisher, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. At Wheatland, a, Wheatland Veterinary Clinic. Yes, he's a good guy. And he, he's, he errs on the side of let's be cautious. And, and we like that too, because too many people take dogs early. So we just not want to get in that shape. So yeah. we're, we're, he's doing all the right things. We're doing all the right things. So now let's, let's make a prediction on the number of puppies. Well, I, I made, let's make a prediction on colors of puppies. Yeah. So she was bred to... So she was bred to Mando. Who is? A full visual fluffy lilac and tan 
He is a blue and tan that blue carries cocoa and, and cream. Yeah, don't listen to me, listen to James. <laughs> yeah, blue and tan. So, so we would expect to get, at the very least, half morals, one quarter pies, because they both carry pies, um, all of them to be blues or lilacs, of which we would get a quarter lilacs and three quarters blues. And if she carries cream, we could get a blue covered in cream or a platinum out of this too, but that's a fairly rare thing to have. So that's what we're going to get. No brindles. All of them are going to show beautiful tan points. Mm -hmm. um, yes. The pies might not because it might be white on the feet, but the other ones, or yeah. if we get any platinums. But yeah, so she's, uh, tell us about Sue. She's a happy dog, right? Look how little she is. She's a, she is small. Her, I can't, it's so that's another thing here is, is, is you know, she is not overly fat. So you see this here? You know, she's losing, she's basically lost Ideally, her appetite. Ideally, she'd be chunkier than this, but she just is not food driven. Yep, right, exactly. So she's just not a hungry girl. She's pretty active though, isn't she? Yes. She's very girl. sweet. She's so, so sweet. Yeah, she's a very good dog. She's, she's a very nice. Some sweet Easy babies. to be around. Yes. Easy to be around. Yes. So pop it out of the ground so we can take a picture from above. And let's just make the prediction on the number of puppies. That's you the can last part of this. Okay. Here. Well, you know what? It shifted. I always thought this side is bigger. Actually, no, it is from this angle. You could see. This side's bigger. Well, yesterday it was here. Oh, okay. But yesterday there was like little trapeze babies over here, just flipping yes. and flopping. And yes. Well, based off yesterday, I still think she looks big on the left-hand side. I'm predicting five, three on this side and two on this side. But look, could get seven, could get six. Oh but I gosh. think I think you're in that oh, kind of realm. And uh, yeah. She has milk. Yesterday she had milk. So show us that. This is another thing. You're not expecting to see much milk, but you get a little drip, a little bubble of cholesterol falling, falling at the end of the nipple. Oh, I don't know if you can see that one. Yeah, Looking it's a little bit right there. Yeah, it's a little. It's hard to see it, but it's there. It's there. Yeah. So, if you don't have milk beforehand, don't get worried about oh, it. It's quite normal. You can not... lay down. Now she's had this is her third litter or second litter. We're not sure actually. Are we? we don't know about Cody knows. Yeah, Cody knows for sure. Yeah, I think it's a second. I will say, and like she has been with me for about a week now, and she is just so comfortable, calm, mama. She's it's wonderful. Going to have calm babies. Yes. A really laid back litter. Yes. Okay, so there you go. So just to reiterate here, here's the salient <laughs> points about this. First thing is, is that uh, Chanel will have some babies if she wants everybody to see and she'll do a video yes. of that in the next, mm -hmm. maybe today when they're born, maybe the next day. And yes. she has been very vigilant about what she's doing. Make sure yes. that we're close to or at the due date. We are within a day of the due date. Yes. Uh, bigger litters tend to go a little early. Make sure that the temperature mm -hmm. has dropped. It has dropped. So it's down to 97 point something. Yes. Uh, typically, dogs that are um, going to have puppies will not eat food that day. And today, she didn't. She, she ate just a little bit, buried her food, and threw up what she'd eaten the previous well, night. Well, she it wasn't her normal food. It was food that she thinks is very special. jackpot special. Okay. Yeah, special. Right. Yeah. So she was like, yeah. Then her body was like. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I'd say is be little careful about feeding a big meal if you think you're going to have a C-section because you you know I'm glad that she vomited it up because yes. you don't want her vomiting that up when she's intubated. Um, and a progesterone level is uh, is now um, 3.08. Mm -hmm. So we really believe that we're in a really good place. Mm -hmm. It's always a little bit cross your fingers. Yeah. You know, you're always you know always concerned about the whole thing is kind of a miracle, and the whole thing you know you're always worried about will babies be healthy and so on and so forth. We've but, documented everything. I know exactly how long it will take me to get to the vet. Yeah. I'm not in a panic. How many vets do you have on board? I have. This is. I have three or four. Yes. So, so. You, you've got, she's got a little spreadsheet, Chanel does, with yeah. days and temperatures. I'm a family accountant, of course I've got the data. Yeah, well everything. that's great. That's great. And it's she, you good. Know, it's it good is. for you. We it's safe for mama, outcome. it's safe for babies. All right. So say goodbye, Chanel. Say bye. Hey, we'll see you on the other side. Here you go. All right. Good job. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I hope you got some good information out of it. I hope you subscribe to our channel. Brought to you by MyBreederSupply.com. We've been in business for over eight years. We manufacture products to help you have successful breedings, successful whelps, and successful puppies. We've introduced a new subscription service, CanineConnect.com. It's a one-year subscription for 129 bucks. And for that, you get two-day free shipping on all, order, all of your orders. You get 5% off your every order that you place, and you get direct access to our support line to help you with products that you buy from us and general questions about breeding your dogs. It's really a great deal. I hope you subscribe to that. Now the disclaimer. I'm not a licensed veterinarian. I'm not a professional health giver. 
but I am a guy that's been breeding dogs successfully for over 20 years. Any information you get from my videos is purely at your own risk. If you have any doubts about any of this stuff, you should definitely seek the help of a licensed professional. Again, thanks for watching. Have fun with your doggies. Bye, buddy. Mm -hmm.